See the yellow boxes? Structural concepts. I got a display case. Uh, the parts are OEM and they switched motors um, from the original. So you have to get this kit. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We'll take a look at the display case over here. Get the case emptied. Just on the bottom right here. Okay, there's the original evaporator fan. So what you have is you have a cold side, you have a dry side to the case. So this part of the case is the cold side, and this side is the dry side. So what happened was the fan blade broke, but they don't make this anymore. So you gotta get this whole kit to redo this. And look, you got head pressure control, oh, suction yeah. pressure control. So we got head pressure control, suction pressure control. There's your expansion valve. We're gonna, look, we're gonna have to do some cleaning up in there too. You can see. So always fun. Looks so like this one's gonna unplug right here. On the other side, so there's three Phillips screws that are gonna come off. We'll take this whole apparatus away because they gave us a whole new piece of metal in a whole new setup um, that's a little more a little more common okay, with those three screws out this whole piece just comes right out just like that we're gonna get rid of all of this all of this right here is going bye bye there's, there's a big old drain right there i had to get my shop back and do a bunch of cleanup Good and cleaned up so that coil can drain. It's not draining, see that? The water's kind of standing. This old motor was a, no, G no room. a GE 58 millimeter programmed fan. was all built into the fan motor. The new one's going to be different. We'll get into that in just a second. So our replacement motor. There's our shroud. So we have to bend it. be kind of a tin bender. We're going to bend that up to be this box right here. With our new fan. It's, a, it's still an ECM type motor. But at least you can change the fan blade on this one. Broken fan blade. Built up. I gotta get a popping bushing on there and some tie wraps for the, for the wire. So let me get that situated and then we'll do some shop vac and some cleanup and we'll get it back together. There it is with the popping bushing and we ran the wire like that with the wire to tie to keep it out of the fan. Get your wire connector tape back up. 
then we'll make sure it runs before we put the cover on. Turn it on here and you'll watch the motor. It's an ECM motor. See? Isn't that cool? Oh, that's so cool. There it goes. Oh, thank you so much. Alright, let's get the cover back on. Now we'll be all noisy and jumping all over the place and rumbling. Oh, it was, it was like a washing machine before you uh -huh. get done. Always make your front look better than the original. Okay, one more thing before we turn it on. Silly, silly display case. You gotta check the condenser. Look at the pre-filter. You know what that makes it? Multiple offender. Structural Concepts, the Renaissance model, RB5C4848LR, look at that, 1999, still kicking strong. Gives you your superheat, 8 to 10 degrees, BTU requirements, 1,740 BTUs an hour at 20 degrees, suction saturation temperature, right here. It tells you your defrost cycle, 60 frost per day. 45 degree termination, 45 minute sale, fail safe. Here, I'll zoom in a little better, you can read all that. These are great little units. And then there, for the controller, it has uh, this all set in. And that's for this controller right here. So it's been chugging along for what, 18 years? Not bad. Cold side, but your dry side. See how that works? Sometimes you'll have cut off there. I was gonna say sometimes you'll have the the cold part of the case on the bottom and the dry part on the top on display cases. Sometimes the whole case doesn't refrigerate. You have to. It gets real tricky sometimes on those. But so that's that for that one. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, the sun is out. Finally. It's gonna be what we rock, Scooby-Doo. And guess what? America, we love you. Well, does it